just said I was lucky that, uh, that you either got well or you died. About two months ago, Bob Watson was rushed to the ER. He had a fever, full symptoms of dementia, and doctors could not figure out what was wrong until this doctor stepped in. What made you test for that? The fact that he had muscle weakness on his face. Bob tested positive for West Nile virus. But take a look at this. The CDC shows most people never show any symptoms. 20% have some and less than 1% have serious, sometimes fatal, neurologic illness. Just so happens, Bob falls into that less than 1% category. I've been outdoors every day, um, working in the yard, um, sitting on the porch. So we came to his house, and this is what we saw when we got there. We've only been standing outside of Bob's house in the backyard for about 15 minutes, and already two of us have been bitten by a mosquito. Bob's daughter, Anita, was also bitten. She says she's scared for herself and other neighbors. God forbid somebody else goes through what we've been through and knowing that there is no cure, there's no treatment. It is here. It is in southwest Virginia. But Dr. Scarlettescu tells me there's no need for panic. He says he's been with Carillion for two years, and this is the first case he's ever seen. In fact, the health department has zero reported cases of West Nile in southwest Virginia between January of this year to September. But to this family, just one case is enough.